A lot of people doesn't know that Python programming language is useful for web application development. How can I break that today and work in front of you developing a web application using Python program? So firstly, we need to understand what is the problem statement in this particular episode. And in the next episode, I will be developing a web application framework in front of you. This is John, Data Science Career Transition Expert. Let's get into this video. All right, let me share my screen. The number guessing game. What is this number guessing game? How does it work? So here I've just given an agenda, but firstly let's understand how does it work. So here I've just given a website link, fun brain website. So here you will get a lot of advertisements. Maybe I could have added an ad blocker here, but just ignore it. We'll try to understand how, how to play. Guess the secret number in the magician's hat. If your guess is too high or too low, you will get a hint. Okay. All right. So let me click on play now. See this. How to play. The fun brain magician will pick a secret number and put it in his hat. So you guess what is the number? S. If your guess is too high or too low, fun brain will give you a hint. See how many turns it takes for you to win. Okay. Pick a level. I'm just clicking on easy level. Maybe 1 to 100. Let me click on it. What is happening? Let me click on 1 to 100. Yes. So here, pick a number between 1 to 100. I'm having totally 7 turns. I need to guess this. 50. 50 is too low, meaning I need to guess for a higher number. Maybe I'll just click on uh, 75 because I need to go for higher number, 75. So the number is between 50 to 75. Maybe I'll just click on 65. 65 is too low. So the number is between 65 to 75. Maybe I'll click on 70. So 70 is too low, meaning the number should be between 71 to 74. So there are four numbers left. So 71, 72, 73, 74. Maybe I'll just click on 72. That is also too low. Maybe I'll just click for the number should be then 73 or 74. I'm having two chances left. Click for 74. Okay, so it took you six turns to guess my number, which was 74, which is present inside the hat. I got to, I think that you understood the problem statement here. So where within seven tries, I need to find out what is the uh, number present inside this particular hat, right? So what is the logic behind it? So the same logic I'm going to write in Python programming. And not only that, we are going to deploy this, how they exactly they have deployed. So not like building this. Uh, logo and everything that is uh, too much of thing but in a web application because this is a web application right www dot in a web application how can we deploy it using python we are going to work on it but first we need to work with respect to the logic so for that purpose i'm going to write the logic in jupyter notebook and take that logic and uh, build the website or uh, using an another uh, python based web application framework in the next video okay but uh, do not skip it and try to watch this particular logic let me share my another screen uh, just a minute. So here, yeah. All right. So let me share. Great. So here, see this. I just want to write logic. Firstly, there will be a secret number. So I'm just typing secret number is equal to. You can choose any number between one to hundred. That's what the logic you have picked to try. Right? Maybe I'll say the secret number is something like sixty-seven. Okay. Just write a simple logic. The sixty number sixty-seven has to be stored into a variable. That's why we are we can able to access this particular variable, right? So that's why variable is very important. So now what I'm doing, uh, if that particular, then we have to receive the input. Okay. We have stored the information into a variable, but we need to uh, make use of that variable, right? So firstly, we need to receive an input from the user where input is equal to because user will be typing some number, right? So where I'll store it into a variable called as user guess. Okay. And we all know that. See this, if you want to work on this, you should know at least intermediate level of Python programming knowledge, like what is variable and everything. Okay. And if else conditions, even if it not, try to see how easy Python programming is all about. All right. Still, you will be able to understand in your uh, PUC or your 10th or 11th, you might have studied about bit of programming knowledge right that is more than sufficient to understand this logic you can still continue do not skip this video because you will miss the important points okay so now if see this 
this input, whenever we are trying to receive some input from the user, if you look onto it, see this, the input is nothing but let's say 80. If you check the type of that user guess, it is string. Why it is string? Because every time, whenever we are using this input function and trying to receive some input from the user, the default data type of that input function is string. But we are dealing with numbers. So now what we have to do? Okay, I can get the information using input, which is string, but I need to typecast it into numbers because typecasting meaning converting a data type to another data type, which we actually wanted. So I'm just typecasting into int because we are dealing with numbers. So now let me execute the same line, 60. Now if you just check the type, it is integer. This type is for just checking purpose. Okay, fine. Now what is the logic? If that user gets simple logic, let's write it. If it is equal to uh, that secret and number, all right, then print, congratulations. You have found your guesses, maybe your guesses, your guesses right, all right. Else, I can say, simple, right? It's a very simple logic. Your guesses, sorry. Your guess is wrong. All right. So I guess it's wrong. So let me execute it. So now this one, um, congratulations, right? So maybe I'll just try to guess a number because this is an input, right? Input, uh, I'm just trying to guess like how in FunBrain website, uh, FunBrain or FunTest, I'm not remembering it, but it asked a number, right? So in the same way, I'm just going to write a guess a number like 80. Sorry, your guess is wrong. So now here we have, there we have got seven tries. But here I just tried it for only one time. Let's go, let's increase the complexity one by one. So now what I want to do is nothing but, okay, this is the logic, what we have actually got. So this loop, it is trying to run, okay, fine. Now what, uh, so here we have learned about what? If, else, right, if else block we have learned, and also user guess, like input function, what is the importance of variable, we learned it. And that's what here I just mentioned in the slide. If we just go back and see, how does it work? We learned it. And how to get input and store it into a container called variable, like secret number, we learned it. The program is only useful if it does something with our input. So let's process that with a conditional logic, like if else condition. Now you might have learned about importance of data types and typecasting when you receive input from the user. All right. And enable infinite price. Enable infinite price meaning, see this. I just wanted to run this particular loop. Where is that one bit? This came in it. There is some issues. Right, so let me share I'm gonna just Yeah. So I just wanted to try this for infinite times, meaning just take this inside a while loop, while, and try to set the condition as true. So when you set this particular condition as true, this whole block will run for infinite times. Okay, so let me execute this. So if your guess is, let's say 67. Okay, uh, see this, we'll stop sending, meaning since this, this, let me stop, stop it and refresh it. Why I stopped and refreshed, I'll let you know. Because, see, while true meaning, this print condition, if you scroll down, yeah, see this? Congratulations, you are right, it is just printing infinite times. Okay, this block is executing, but I just wanted to execute this line only once and I need to stop it, right? Abruptly stop it. That's why when you are executing this, when you wanted to execute only one time and abruptly stop it, use this break command. All right, here also I'll use you break because when the condition is false, it will enter into this loop and it will run for infinite times. Your machine will get completely hung. Do you have any number for infinite? No, right? So your machine will completely hang. That's why it just quickly interrupted it and restarted the whole kernel so that we don't want it to get into this particular trap. So now let me execute it. Like my guess is 70. It says, sorry, your guess is wrong. So now the point is, what is the difference between including while and excluding while? So last time I have not included while, but here the, the point is, there are sometimes in some specific programs where a, law, a particular block need to be executed all the time unless and until break statement it has seen. So that is why I'm introducing you to this while block here. So totally five things we have learned it here. Now let me go back, show you the presentation. See this, 
by now we have introduced what is the importance of variable we stored it and what is the importance of data types like from input we have received uh, because that is a string and we have converted into integer we typecasted it we, we understood the type of typecasting conditions like if else conditional block and while loop we have learned it and let's add a bit more complexity and add uh, limitation of attempts meaning there we have tried it for three times or four times right in case if you wanted to allow this particular block to run for three times or four times please wait for the next video okay we will be solving that particular logic but for this particular block okay how can we take this and execute in a web application and how can we develop the front end and back end we will come up with the next video the next episode and third episode we will try to add some logics to it meaning like seven attempts or five attempts we will try to come here and work that logic on call in front of you all right i hope this video is helpful uh, please uh, put in the comments whether you are able to understand this logics or not so my takeaway from this is nothing but see this my takeaway i have learned how to instruct a computer to do certain things with python programming knowledge right and instructing the computer hey if user enters this do that if user how we are training the child right in a similar way i am training my computer that's my learning point what is your learning point all right here i just left it blank please put your learning points in the comment section and um, if it is really helpful just uh, please put it so that it would be helpful for us to come up with more content like this uh, so this is my takeaway please share yours too and in case if you find this uh, content useful uh, please share among your friends and uh, let everyone take benefit of it but in the next video we will deploy this in a web application using one python web application framework framework called as streamlight what is streamlight we will talk about that in the next video until then stay tuned bye